Okay, so we look at question two. They said by using partial fraction. So this question is quite good because they said please use partial fraction. They already tell you method. Uh, so you no need test, uh, testing, testing the method, test, uh, try and error. Then show that. So please show this partial fraction in this form first. Then only we go for integration. Okay, so they ask us to express. So for our partial fraction, first step, we go in to see if it's proper or not. So this one is quadratic. Here is constant. So this fraction is uh, proper fractions. So when we have proper fraction, the second step, we're going to see the denominator part. Okay, our denominator part, our divisor here is x squared minus 4. So our second step is going to factorize our denominator completely. So the x squared minus 4, you become x minus 2, x plus 2. Okay, so after we factorize our denominator completely, then we will try to express it in partial fraction. So x squared minus 4 equals to one of the factor is x minus 2 and another factor is x plus 2. Okay, so when denominator is linear, step number 4, uh, when denominator is linear, our numerator will be a constant a. So when this denominator is a linear, so our numerator will be another constant, let it be. And then we will go into next step, which is get same to the denominator, the a. We are going to multiply with the factor it don't have. So this one supposedly to be right in factor form so that we can see it clearly. Okay, so the a will be multiply with the factor it don't have. So it the factor you don't have is x plus 2. So for b, the factor you don't have will be x minus 2. So when we get this equation, then we can continue to find out what is our ab. So we have two unknown here. Therefore, we have to let it two times. So we are going to let x equals to negative 2, the roots. Another one is x equals to 2, so that we can find out our ab easily. So when we substitute negative 2 inside, this one becomes zero. Uh, the roots will make the factor zeros. So here it will become negative four b. B will become negative one over four. Okay, then so when we substitute two, it will become four a. So here will become 0. So our a will become 1 over 4. So lastly, we manage to express our fraction in partial fraction. So where our a is 1 over 4, denominator, write it together. b is negative. So I have to make this become negative because positive, negative, negative, 1 over 4. x plus 2. So you can look our look at our questions they said show this form so they are 1 over 4 they are already factorized out so we're going to factorize out our 1 over 4 in order to show this form of answer okay so after that after that that only we are going to do our integration So look at our questions here, they say hence. When you have a wording of hence, means you have to use your result. Okay, use your result. What's your result previously? Which is this result. Okay, one uh, x squared minus 4, that will be our result, previously result. So we have to use that result to solve that integration. So for our integration here, so our concept still maintained as sim for that simplified formula than technique. So we look at our integration here. Our integrate here is x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 4. So simplify. So as we said, simplify just now, we can do factorize, we can do division, we can do expand. So you can see our fraction that we're getting here 
uh, they are improper fashion. So we have to simplify our improper fashion in order for us to do our integration easily. So our polynomial here, it will be x squared plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4. So it will become 1. And then what is their reminder? They will be going to minus x squared minus x squared 0. 1 minus negative 4, we get 5. So therefore, our integration of x squared plus 1, x squared minus 4, we simplify it to become, after our long division, to become caution is 1, then reminder is 5. So this is how we simplify our questions. Uh, hence, uh, then continue. Of course, here we cannot use formula. Lah. Okay, we cannot use formula. We have to use our partial fraction that we already expressed. So we will put in our partial fraction here. Where you can see, here we can integrate 1 dx plus integrate 5 x squared minus 4 dx. So we can integrate separately. When we have plus or minus in between, we can integrate separately one by one. So integrate 1, we get x. So for this part, we have to simplify some more. So 5, we can factorize factorize our 5, we're going to integrate 1 over x squared minus 4. So where 1 over x squared minus 4, we can express it in partial fashion. So which is integrate. So you can see 1 over x squared is this. So simplify, we still can simplify where we can factorize the coefficient 1 over 4, we only integrate here, the fraction inside. So when we integrate this, we can check our fraction fx, f prime x. fx is, fx is x minus 2. So differentiate this, we get 1, yes. We get 1 it up there. So when our function is x plus 2, we, we differentiate, we get 1. Yes, we get up there. So integrate f prime x over fx. Okay, so fraction. Integrate f prime x over f, we, we get ln function. So here will be ln x minus 2 minus ln x plus 2 then plus c so plus c will at the last and then we can see ln minus ln we can use our properties of the logarithm where ln minus ln will be the item will be divide uh, so will become x minus 2 divided by x plus 2 So there will be our whole part. So look at here, our partial fractions. So of course, our expression in partial fraction one not. And then going to going to find out what is our unknown. Okay, our concept to going to find out our unknown and then and prove it. Then when we go for integration, so use back the part. So this is our concept. We use back our result on part one. Integrate fraction, we get long concept of integration. Finally, this is answer. So this will be give you total of six marks.